Today, I'm going to be giving you a quick walkthrough of the new Flow Builder view in Chili Piper's lead routing and distribution tool, Distro. Before the new Flow Builder, a router in Distro looks something like this, with the trigger at the top, the flow of the routes down here, and then clicking into each route revealing more details to see and customize. But building out an effective router can become complicated quickly. So we wanted to enhance the overall experience of building out and maintaining your router with an all new visual layout that's not only easier to use, but is also much more clear on exactly how your router will work and flow. And so right away, you can see just how visually different this new flow builder looks and feels. And the first step in my new router is to set a trigger. So I'm going to add a trigger for when a new lead record is created. Now following the route down, I can add the next step where I'll add a delay to the route before distro takes any more action on this lead. For example, I might be using a data enrichment tool and I'd like the router to wait while the tool gathers more information around the lead before continuing the route. After that, I can create an entry rule for this route. I'll choose the rule here as lead score. Now, I'm ready to build my first path on the router by creating a new routing rule. So here you can see that this new rule has two paths, the yes path and the no path. Clicking into it, I can choose from my list of rules, and here I'll choose North America Mid-Market. Now I can build the next step in this path by creating a step to assign and update ownership. I'll add the team that I want, so I'll select North America Mid-Market. Then the distribution for that team will be a round robin. And then finally, I'll want to update the ownership by selecting the object as lead, the field as owner ID, and the value as assignee ID. Now let's say I want to add an SLA, or service level agreement. SLAs are a great way to make sure that leads aren't slipping through the cracks and reps are following up with them in a timely manner. So here I could have an SLA, which would kick off after five hours of the lead's ownership being assigned. I can also choose if I want this time frame to reflect the rep's working hours or not, which we can detect through our integration with Google Calendar or Outlook. But we need a rule for this SLA to evaluate if an action needs to be taken or not. So I could choose from a rule I've already built, but I'm not seeing exactly what I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and create a new one. First, I'll choose what kind of rule conditions I want. For this one, I'll select without ownership. And I need this rule for our SLA to look at the lead in Salesforce and check to see if the lead is untouched or not. So I'll select the object as lead, the field as status, the operator is equal to, and finally, the value as untouched. Now, I'll give it a name and we'll publish these changes. Now that my new rule is built, I can finish creating this SLA by choosing what action that I want it to take. In this case, after five working hours, if the lead status is still untouched, then I'll set it to reassign the record. Now that our first path is built out, I'm ready to build the next one in the flow, which could be for anyone outside of North America. So let's say for EMEA mid-market. I'll first choose the rule, then I'll add the team, customize all of my ownership details, and then finally add an SLA using the rule that we just built. Now that I'm finished creating the two main paths in my router's flow, I'm gonna add a catch-all step at the end. That way, any lead coming through the router that doesn't match the previous two rules and paths can be added to a round robin for an entire team to make sure that they're still being contacted and not forgotten. Thanks to the new Flow Builder view in Distro, I can now clearly see exactly how my leads will be flowing down and through my router. And if I want to make any changes or tweaks to this router in the future, I can easily see all of the steps and stages visually in one place. Now, I'm ready to publish this router. And once everything's saved and published, I'll set the toggle for this router to active. And that's it. If you want to learn more about Distro or any of Chili Piper's other inbound conversion tools, then head to chilipiper.com and get a demo.